I'm going to read something. It's dated for August 22nd, 2019. To the President and others of concern. I contact IBG Global Consulting. Then the address is listed. Every time I say IBG Global Consulting, I list the full address. Which is 333 West Trade Street, Unit 100, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28202. In regards to its efforts to deceptively acquire access to my human capital assets for misappropriation and fraudulent mischaracterization as an asset of IBG Global Consulting, your acquisition, appropriation, characterization, and later investment and distribution of my capital assets was in violation of my contract terms as well as illegal under various jurisdictions, including ones with national security implications. Such potential liabilities in engaging deceptive practices and the consequences were presented to IBG Global Consulting Prior to your acceptance of the contract, and you were informed prior to your acceptance of the contract, that your acceptance was also acceptance of the considerations regarding potential liabilities and the attendant consequences. Per the terms of the contract, you outlined that, quote, training consists of instruction in Ruby on Rails, end quote. Per the original agreement, this was the last officially disclosed programming language of reference. There was no disclosure of an intent to engage or attempt to overwrite using Cocoa or Cocoa Touch as a replacement under false designation as a, quote, liability, end quote, per engagement via fraudulent, quote, mental health observation, end quote, that also correlated with a reassessment of my capacity to engage in or negotiate terms of a contract. This, quote, reassessment, end quote, also included 10 days of fraudulent billings for medical insurance for which I was never provided any documentation or disclosure. I also never was also never provided with any legal representation at all during this or later time. The contract also outlines how my, quote, prior experience, end quote, and, quote, technical aptitude, end quote, is a contingency of the training. This contingency, however, was misrepresented via processes of fraudulent expropriation of my human capital assets and subsequent mischaracterization. These human capital assets, per the engagement of alleged, quote, mental health observation, end quote, accessed human capital assets acquired from before I was of legal age to consent and involved time frames during which I was a dependent of the United States military. It also included cataloging of later work products I created as a journalist involved in international conflict zones. There was no effort to assist me with appropriate characterization of these capital assets, but rather myriad efforts, agencies, and departments were engaged via multiple jurisdictions to obstruct efforts to appropriately characterize these assets and find redress for prior misappropriation. This contingency also involved the requirement that IBG Global Consulting engage me in, quote, good faith efforts to fully participate in and complete IBG's IEDP training program, end quote. These, quote, good faith efforts, end quote, based on past experience and aptitudes include my history of investigating and acting on requirements regarding adherence to applicable legal codes, policies, and procedures. This was breached and demonstrated bad, quote, bad faith, end quote, on the part of IBG Global Consulting when efforts to report, quote, fraud, end quote, were misrepresented as a demonstration of, quote, mental health observation, end quote. IBG Global Consulting demonstrated its intention to attempt to illegally hold me to the contract that it had itself breached when it recontacted me in June of 2019 with a second training program that was understood to mean a continuation of, quote, training, end quote, requirements explicated in the contract despite my formal severance of the contract in October of 2016. As the contract states, quote, Candidate hereby agrees to actively participate in required continuing training when available during any times that candidate is not placed with a customer, end quote. This, quote, required training, end quote, was never disclosed to include access to or engagement with subsequent efforts to receive later technical training via other means and in connection with other training programs or via other funding sources. This attempt to contact me about later IBG Global Consulting training programs following my efforts to acquire other training, and after I had already severed my contract with IBG Global Consulting in response to a breach of contract on the part of IBG Global Consulting, reveals an intent to claim access to this training as an asset available for appropriation by IBG Global Consulting, per the terms of the original contract. Attempts to access capital asset development during or prior to my training in other technical areas following my withdrawal from the IEDP program with IBG Global Consulting is likewise fraudulent and evidentiary of the bad faith engagement by IBG Global Consulting of the original contract. As the contract states, quote, candidates agrees, candidate agrees that IBG shall have the exclusive right for a period of five years 
after the candidate completes the IEDP training program, the term, to place candidate into consulting opportunities associated with IEDP-related services, end quote. The contract with IBG Global Consulting had already been breached and formally renounced for breach of contract in October 2016. Any, effort, any further efforts to attempt to compel a, quote, completion, end quote, of the original or any subsequent program or continued perpetuation of the fraudulent pretenses under which the original contract was engaged and which substantiated the withdrawal from the contract in October 2016. The requirements of this element of the contract were violated by IBG Global Consulting when it engaged fraud, uh, fraud during the time frame during which I was involved with the IEDP program and in accordance with later fraudulent practices that intentionally mischaracterized my human capital. As such, this condition of the contract is not only moot, but any and all benefits accrued to or by IBG Global Consulting or its associates due to the fraudulent mischaracterization of my human capital assets and or interference with my participation with any other training or professional endeavors which were likewise impacted by the mischaracterization of my efforts to report fraud as, quote, mental health observation, end quote, is demonstrative of fraud on the part of IBG Global Consulting. IBG Global Consulting listed on its website that it planned to be involved with an, quote, Arab Health Summit, end quote, alleged to be sponsored by the state of Florida in the fall of 2017 during the time frame in which I was attempting to acquire training with IBG Global Consulting. This demonstrates that IBG Global Consulting already included state-sponsored healthcare services as being in, quote, network, end quote, and hence later mischaracterizations of my human capital assets via the public health system implicate IBG Global Consulting. In the obstruction of my investigatory and reporting efforts in March of 2017 and during time frames prior to and following the alleged, quote, mental health observation, end quote, in the state of Texas. As the contract states, quote, Candidate gives IBG exclusive rights to represent candidate on all employment or contracting opportunities relating to the technologies trained in the IEDP. Candidate will make no attempts to source employment or contractor opportunities in the IEDP-related service field without the assistance of IBG or without the express written consent of IBG, allowing candidate to do so, end quote. This specific contract clause was identified in the terms of the contract that I submitted to IBG Global Consulting with the contract describing my terms and that acceptance of the contract was an agreement by IBG Global Consulting to accept my terms of the contract. I identified that this requirement presented possibilities for potential liabilities to be incurred concerning lack of verification on, quote, source, end quote, and the potential consequences in accordance with the capabilities and types of consulting opportunities advertised by IBG Global Consulting as being under its purview. The requirements of this clause were violated by IBG Global Consulting, when it engaged fraud during the time frame during which I was involved with the IEDP program and in accordance with later fraudulent practices that intentionally mischaracterized my human capital, especially concerning the requirement for participants in the class to identify themselves to the rest of the class and for several students to be permitted to participate but refused to identify themselves during the class. At the time, 16 students were reported to be involved in the online class during the class time but fewer than half actually presented the required biographical information. I specifically brought this to the online forum for the class and was reproached for doing so, despite expressing in the original contract the associated potential liabilities and consequences and how that would impact terms of the contract. IBG Global Consulting breached its own terms regarding, quote, exclusive rights to representation, end quote, when it refused to acknowledge the original terms to which it agreed upon acceptance of my signature on September 12, 2016 at 3.32 uh, and 37 seconds p.m., an affirmation of its acceptance with one provided on the contract by IBG enrollment on September 13, 2016 at 9.01 with 57 seconds a.m. Specifically, my disclosure that I understood the potential for disabuse and, quote, error, end quote, as evidence in the contract text itself to pose potential security, including potential national security threats, and the acceptance by IBG Global Consulting was itself contingent upon acknowledging my requirement that I be able to negotiate with the president directly in the event that such a potential security threat presented itself per the requirement in the contract that all negotiations or renegotiations of terms was to be directly conducted with the president. IBG Global Consulting refused to honor this term of the contract beginning in October 2016, but my concerns during the online class were twice dismissed publicly by the instructor, and I was denied any attempt to appeal it to the president. These breaches of the contract by the instructor after I discussed with both him and the enrollment representative my requirement to have my terms referred to the official legal representative of IBG Global Consulting were substantiated 
substantiated my formal withdrawal and voided any and all other aspects of this contract as I declared publicly to the class. Any subsequent effort to hold me to any terms of the contract represent an intentional effort to defraud me and my past, current, and future associates with risk up to and including threats to national security. As explicitly expressed in the terms of the contract that I provided to IBG Global Consulting and that were accepted per the signature confirmation by IBG Global Consulting. As such, this letter serves as a formal notice of my intention to hold IBG Global Consulting and its president accountable for all violations incurred in connection with or as a result of misuse of my identity or human capital assets from the date of the acceptance by IBG Global Consulting of the contract being September 13, 2016. Uh, this was signed by me on August 22nd, 2019. Now, the situation here is that the original communication regarding the terms of the contract, the contract terms were expressly stated to them on September 6, 2021. And what happened was they resent me that day, the contract. I took it to understand and understood, uh, they, they uh, contacted me to, to affirm it that day and told me about the, the legal department. I'm holding them accountable to September 6. Why? Because this entire time, Somebody has exclusively confined my capacity to communicate with anybody. My concern is that when I saw this, the implication was supposed to be the President of the United States. At the time, the President of the United States was Barack Obama. My concern is that this was an attempt to engage me in some sort of a contract under the auspices of it being a mobile app development class in order to extort me into agreeing with a paradigm I suspected was unrolling in Chicago. This was a paradigm concerning clandestine recruitment of people that were operating as if they had the cover of so-called intelligence, including under an alleged uh, local community college program that presumably had just been approved by the Defense Intelligence Agency and was receiving cooperation and curriculum development, but that had been misrepresented to people as being about something other than what it actually was. I sent them very comprehensive terms of the contract. I had more than a 14-page uh, consideration line by line of the contract. All that information was stolen after I was trafficked to Houston. In this time, nobody's responded to me. Nobody in law enforcement. Nobody in any of the courts. Nobody in any federal agency. And I contend that somebody actually operated as if they thought they had the authority of the President of the United States to put me under some contract with some of the most hideous terms imaginable. And in the process, what has been revealed is a, is a specific orchestrated crime spree that in the state of Texas alone goes back to when I first got here over 15 or at this point 16 years ago. September 6th of 2016 is when I first sent to them my formal acknowledgement that I was concerned that there were potential national security implications in what they were presenting. They identified themselves as being in league with directly in league with Microsoft as a uh, executive operational uh, situation, as well as the United States Navy. They wanted their students to believe that the caliber of the training they were providing was on par with putting people in league with the kind of national security matters that would be addressed by the United States Navy and by people involved with the highest levels of uh, product development regarding Microsoft. At the least, they also stated that in their network, I believe they also were in network with Oracle. So within a few weeks of starting the class, when this came up, there was absolutely no justification. The problem is it started a pattern that to this day has not ceased. It's the same cyclical engineering regime. I don't really understand, to be honest with you, if you came to me and you told me that you had been subjected to contract terms like this, and as a part of that, you were being extorted, including in a manner that automated your life to be subjected to these cycles of persecution that also had national security implications to the best of your knowledge, as is reflected in the media and in your immediate life, what am I going to say? Well, I mean, you're under contract with them, so I can't contact you and I can't talk to you. There's nothing legal about what they tried to do. I am not going to allow them to try to get away with evicting me and or trying to get me to hook up another fraudulent bond for them after they reflect to me terms that are completely unacceptable. Every single response I've gotten to my legal filing efforts, every single response I've gotten to an effort to file a report with law enforcement, every single grievance I've filed, every single effort I've made to engage in any sort of meaningful employment up to and including working as a janitor at a convention center has been 
underwritten in the background with the most heinous crime and literally manifest in literal real-time crime, including acts of terrorism concurrent to my efforts to get my needs met. Everything about this has been a complete setup. As of midnight tonight, it's over. They were contacted with the terms of the contract on September 6, 2016. To this day, they have not done anything close to honor it. They had absolutely no right to try to hold me to any terms past October 2016 when I formally severed the contract based upon a breach of contract they themselves committed and affirmed, by the way, in front of what they represented as at least 15 other students and another instructor. 6.27 a.m. on September 5th, 2021. If I'm correct, they wanted us to believe also that they had international affiliates. They also wanted us to believe that they were in a situation where they were part of a compact. As far as I know, that Arab Health Summit didn't happen. But Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, and Hurricane Maria did. I am holding all of you, accountable for him. You understand? This is what you set up. This is the game you wanted to fucking play. Every single one of you that agreed to co-conspire with your little Coco Touch, every single one of you is going to be held accountable. 